So, I'm going to make some predictions. Because, quite frankly, the people's voice isn't going to last much longer. Because, on their second Indiegogo campaign, uh, they are currently, I believe, are only uh, 37,000, which, quite frankly, people shouldn't have given, out of a campaign where they're asking for 400,000. But, there has been one incredible positive out of this, and that is that people have finally realised what an idiot and what a, you know, greedy git David Icke actually is. So, you know what, I don't care if you go believing on your, con you know, your stupid conspiracies, but so long as you don't give any money to David Icke ever again, that makes me an incredibly happy bunny. Because, as I've said right from the very beginning, this is not the people's voice. This is Ike's voice. It is his broadcasted mandate. Everything that is said is according to his gospel and his word. And, as again, as I've said, he claims he's a, a volunteer and that he gave up his, you know, director role. Yet, why does he have an office when he's a volunteer? If, you know... <coughs> as he said in his statement to Sonny Poulton that apparently, you know, the office was full that day. You know, why was his office, you know, if the office gets so full, why is his office then not used instead of you be being his personal office? But from what we've been hearing, the people's voice won't last long after February, and quite frankly, thank God. Because it is the worst thing, I think, ever to be made. Because all it is, is it's Alex Jones UK, basically. Uh, they've done nothing but promote uh, anti-science, they've been anti-medicine, They've had ridiculous psychics on, which I pretty much have assured that they've broken several rules uh, regarding to the Ofcom's rule for having psychics on TV, and as well as breaking several rules on the um, what you are and aren't allowed to do when you have medicine, uh, be it mainstream or alternative on TV as well. So... Basically, they could be shut down by Ofcom for just breaking the rules that they've broken so far. But I really do... But what I hope is now is going to happen is, is the fallout of when the people's voice finally closes down. Because the first thing is... is David Icke is going to scapegoat. And he's going to scapegoat as like anything he can. Now, the first thing you've got to ask is... Sonia Poulton's entire reason for leaving was asking for transparency. Now, the accounts of the released have basically not even given a hint of transparency because, quite frankly, just stating an amount of how much you've supposedly spent is not transparency. They need an exact detailed breakdown of where all the money is going, what it's been spent on, and where it's gone, from, and from where. That's what uh, we need to see. And quite frankly, anyone who's given to the second Indiegogo campaign has pretty much wasted their money. And it's going to get flushed down the toilet, unfortunately. So, sorry, but you've wasted your money. But what's going to be hilarious now is that Ike never wanted his name to be plastered on the channel. But he wanted to be involved with it. Because if his name was plastered on the channel, if it failed, and it is failing, instantly it is associated with him. It failed. It's his fault. But you call it the people's voice, and you get it publicly funded by people sending in donations, and, you know, you take on ridiculous, crazy advertisers like, you know, mind alchemists and people selling chakra healing sounds, then 
Of course, he can say, "Well, it wasn't my fault. I had, I was, I didn't have anything to do with it." Because you know, if it fails, then it's it looks bad on him. It's gone against what the main thing he's been saying, which is that more and more people have been waking up to you know his gospel and his words, and that apparently there were enough people to be able to support you know, the people's voice through donations. And this has proven him wrong. And quite frankly, I think he's going to send him into a tailspin. And I really hope that this is the end of David Icke. I really do hope that, you know, we are at the beginning of the end of David Icke. Because seeing the people's voice basically crash into, you know... A flaming train wreck because as I've said a long time ago well as only like you know a couple of weeks ago it's gone off the rails it's tumbling down the site of the embankment it's set on fire and it's only a matter of time before it finally explodes and quite frankly the fuse has been lit so it's just a matter of sitting back and waiting for the people's voice to basically close its mouth and then David Icke can't speak through it anymore. Because that's what it is. The People's Voice is nothing more than a mouthpiece for David Icke to spread his ridiculous conspiracy theories and whatever he else wants to, you know, whatever new theory he wants to sell. That's all it is.